hey everyone you are highly welcome back to my channel if you are coming for the first time you are highly welcome today i'm going to share with you my party style or soup recipe if you are interested just relax and continue watching to make this soup we'll be needing some cocoa yam known as ede it's not every type of edda that is good for this soup, okay? The type we normally use is the type we call edda ofe. So this is what I'll be using. Over here I have some cow foot. This is going to be a sorted meat soup, okay? Here I have chicken. I'll be combining different types of meat to make this soup. Here I have cow tripe known as shaki. I'm going to cut it into pieces. Over there I have my bomo, also known as cow skin. As you can see, it is looking very dirty, but very soon I'll do justice to it. I'll just clean it up, wash it with iron sponge, and cut it into tiny pieces. Over here is our turkey wings we'll be adding some turkey wings to the soup here i have some goat meat yes some goat meat as i told you earlier i'm going to add assorted meat to the soup because we want it to be very rich here i have some stock fish known as boroko i have the cod i also have the head of stock fish known as isi boroko it's gonna add a very unpleasant um, aroma and taste to the soup. The last but not the least obstacle that we'll be adding to the soup is our dried fish. Okay, this is as as the head. Then over here is the master of the ceremony, with it, which is fresh or ha. Okay, if you're in Nigeria, this might not look fresh to you, but for us in diaspora, this is the freshest that we can get. Okay, this is frozen or ha leaves. I have three packets of them there. Next, I have some fresh Oziza leaves, also frozen um, Oziza leaves. It's going to add flavor and taste to the soup. Here I have some habanero pepper. I'm not gonna add everything there. Here I have some crayfish. Over here is another special ingredient for this soup, which is ogiri ibu. Okay, this is a must for this soup. Here I have my banga concentrate. You can add palm oil or fresh aku, but this is a very Good alternative to palm oil here I have my seasoning cube seasoning powder and have and here I have my salt so the first thing I'm going to do is to cook my cocoa yam and I always love cooking my cocoa yams with my pressure pot because it just cooks everything very well and everything just gets soft in a very short period of time so that is what I'm going to start off with. So while the cocoyam is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get all my orishi rishi ready, okay? It's going to take um, a bit time because it's too much work cooking the different types of meat that I'll be using for the soup, but that's okay, okay? That's okay, that's the glory of the soup. So I washed the stock fish with iron sponge and warm water just to remove every dirt. After that, I transferred it to a pressure pot because it takes time to cook. Because the stock fish and the cow food, they have almost the same cooking time. So I decided to cook both of them together to save time. So I just added some seasoning cubes. I added salt added water just enough to cover the contents of the pot i covered it and just let it start cooking mm -hmm. 
Next, I went ahead to wash and cut my cow tribe and cow skin. So at this point, I was already done washing the cow skin. So I decided to cook the cow skin and the tribe, that is the shaki, together in a pot. But I also realized that this pot is very small, so I later transferred it to a bigger pot. I just added um, seasoning cube, I added salt, onion, and I started cooking the cow skin and the tribe. Still on prepping all the orishi wishes, I decided to cook the chicken and the turkey together because they have almost the same cook time as well. So I just added onion, salt and seasoning cubes, added water, covered it and just let it start cooking as well. So the last orishi rishi which is our goat meat this goat meat takes quite time to cook so i decided to also cook it in a pressure pot so here i just added some seasoning cube i added salt and water if you notice i was adding just lots of water to all the meat because i just needed to get enough stock for this soup okay i just want this soup to be very very rich and all the stock from the meat is going to do um, one dust to the soup so that was why I was just intentionally adding water to all the meat that I was cooking so next we are done with prepping the orishi rishis next I'm going to pound my cocoa yam I'm going to use a blender not a mortar okay as you can see the skin was just peeling off easily that's to tell you that it was properly cooked okay it was just properly cooked it was perfectly cooked so after peeling off the skin i just used knife to just cut the cocoa yams into smaller pieces so that it will be easy for the blades of my blender to blend them next i transferred it to my blender added water and just let it um blend the cocoa yams you can also make use of a food processor or a mortar and pestle if you have one After blending the cocoa yams, I went ahead to use the same blender to blend my habanero peppers and my crayfish. After that, just set it aside. Next, I went ahead to wash my vegetables, okay? So this is frozen oha leaves. This is the freshest we can get where we are. And trust me, it tastes very good. It tastes like fresh oha. It's just that the color is no longer um, very sharp. But just trust me, it tastes really, really great. Just like fresh oha. I've also noticed that you can manage with dry vegetables like um, scent leaf like bitter leaves but when it comes to oha leaves I've noticed that the dried ones doesn't taste like the fresh one okay like you can't use the 
dry one in place of the fresh one and it will give you the same exact test of oha that is one thing i have noticed so after washing the oha leaves and the other leaves i transferred it into um a strainer to drain water next i went ahead to dissolve my ogiri i love to just dissolve my ogiri in water just because i don't want to just throw in the lump inside my soup i just want to make sure that everything is properly dissolved before i pour it into my soup and finally i have my dried fish already deponed and washed and i also went ahead to open my banga concentrate so to the main work okay just um, now and everything is gonna be fast because we've done with prepping which is what takes time in nigerian cooking so here i just transferred all the good meat stocks into a big pot this is the pot that we are going to use cover it and let it come to a boil in case you don't have enough stock you can just add water okay then when the stock comes to a boil um add the banga concentrates if you are using oil this is the time to add the red oil just add enough okay you need enough oil to make this soup to be great okay you don't need to like watch weight when you're cooking on her soup if you want to watch weight kukuma just eat vegetable soup okay but if you want to enjoy the soup enjoy it with your chest so just add enough oil or enough banga concentrate next after adding that just once it dissolves go ahead and add your um blended cocoa yam paste After adding the cocoyam paste, give it a very good stir. At this point, it was becoming obvious to me that this pot won't contain the soup. I just decided to divide the base of this soup into um, a separate pot so that I can cook it in two batches so now is the right time for me to do that I would have loved to add all my um, ingredients in this pot add every seasoning so that it will have the same taste but this pot is really really small I can't continue with this pot so at this stage I just decided to just peacefully divide the base of this soup so that I can make it in two batches sometimes if I'm making two in one soup this is how I do it I just make the base first and then I add bitter leaves to one and I add oha leaves to the other one so this is another tactic to make two pots of soup at the same time but on this day I'm making strictly a hot soup so I just peacefully divided the base to avoid any story that touches the heart then I went ahead to continue cooking for the purpose of this video I'll just concentrate on showing you one here I added um, the ogiri the dissolved ogiri after that i went ahead to add my orishi which is all the obstacles i just love to add them early um during the cooking because i just want them to take up the flavor of the soup
adding all my orish wishes and my obstacles i added the blended crayfish and the pepper i gave it a very good stir because the stock um, that i used for the soup already have some seasonings i just tested it and i realized that i needed to add just a bit more so here i added some small seasoning powder i added salt and i gave it a very good stir The last thing we are going to add to this soup is our oha and our oziza leaves. So that was what I was adding at this point. If you don't have the fresh or frozen oziza leaves, you can just add the oziza seed. It works as well. So after adding the vegetables, just mix everything together. For me, I don't have a specific quantity I add. I just add and stir until I achieve the look I want so at this point I was okay with how everything was looking I was okay with the concentration of the vegetables to the soup and that was exactly um, how I just wanted it on this day so that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a huge thumbs up and over here is the second pot of soup as you can see it is also looking yummy let me know in the comment section what you would like to pair with this soup what fufu what swallow what type of swallow you would love to pair with this um, delicious soup for me i think the best combination is apple and and on her soup okay i think that's the best combination thank you so much for watching please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and i'll see you in my next one bye